Okay. So this is a quick review for your reference uh, when you are studying about projection of planes. See this uh, table of column, it's a big table of column, it have three uh, different columns. Well, first thing, uh, first column says position of plane and if position of plane is uh, by some means, what is its front view, front view and what is its top view, okay. Now this actually it comes on a topic quick review that means when you want to draw any sketch, either it is parallel to HP or perpendicular to VP or whatever it is or inclined to both the planes, we can, what do we do? We wish, just to un, for our understanding you can review this and I can put it in otherwise that if you understand these lines properly for what position, how does a front view should look and top view should look, that is enough. You can solve any question under planes as well as in uh, unit number 3 solids also. Because projection of plane, planes is just a, without thickness we are considering. And unit 3 will be solids, which is the thickness. If you have a rectangle, whatever I have shown, you know, in the problem, that is, is a, just without thickness. With the thickness means with some solid shape. It will become projection of solids. That is your unit number 3. It is again easy. So, by, kindly you have to understand this. Only by understanding this, you can imagine how does a sketch look like and in front view how does it look like and top view how does it look like. Okay. Now, first position, there are some, uh, I think 6 positions are there. First position you see and uh, before going to this, I will tell you, I hope you can all understand if I write like this, what does it is? Yeah, perpendicular. This is vertical plane, horizontal plane. What is this? Parallel, yeah, horizontal plane, vertical plane, all this. And I have written a short form that FV, what is FV? It's front view, okay. And TV, I am writing, top view. Instead of write TV, I am writing short form. And this vertical, VT means vertical trace, here. HT means horizontal trace. Whatever you learned, I am just writing it in a short form, that's it. Now, a plane perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. It is just a uh, one sentence. If you find any plane perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP, how can I say that? Say for example, this is a plane. Have a rectangle here. A plane perpendicular to VP. How do I make this perpendicular to VP? Is this okay? No, it is parallel. Now, perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. This is the condition given. What it says, front view has to be Front view is the line parallel to xy. Correct? You have xy line here. The front view, what is the front view? It should be line only, no? This line is parallel to xy. That's it. And, and coincides with vertical trace. What is coinciding actually? You draw a line, you have only two points, A and B. This line, if you push it, put it directly, push it, you know, it, you extend it, it will directly go and touch, vertical trace, plane, it is called vertical trace, that I already told you, vertical trace nothing but if you from a point, if you do extend the point, it should go and touch or it should go and uh, I can say hit or touch the vertical, some particular plane, that becomes its trace, vertical trace, if I have a line here, if I just it becomes trace, okay, this is my front view or instead of telling a line here, I should say this is a shape, no, this is not a point actually. This is a plane and I have A, B, C, D, all this. This side also an edge I have. So this line, if I directly go and may extend it, it go and touch the vertical plane. That becomes my vertical trace. So, if it is front view is the line as per condition and it is parallel to XY and coincides with vertical trace. Okay? That's why. Now, top view. Top view is the true shape of the plane. Finished. See, this is top view. So, if I keep in this position, what is this? Only top, from top view I can draw the true shape. That is a rectangle. So, this is how it is condition number 1. Please get satisfied. Like this, you have all the 6 conditions. Now, hopefully if I read, you know, every step you can easily understand. What is second one? Plane perpendicular to HP. Instead of VP here, put HP. And parallel to VP. It's clear, parallel to VP. Parallel to VP is there. So, how should a front view look? Front view shows the true shape of the plane. I will just keep it like this. This is the condition, no? Parallel to VP is this? It is parallel to VP? 
This is not perpendicular to HP, perpendicular. It shows the true shape of the plane. Fine. Then top view is the line parallel to XY. Again, top view. I am drawing a line. I draw A and B. C and D are invisible. That means you have this edge also, but you cannot see that. You cannot draw it. Top view, you are drawing a line. Parallel, I mean, top view is the line parallel to XY. Coins and coincides with horizontal trace. What is horizontal trace? This is an edge. It forms a line. This line, if I extend it down, it will directly go and touch on horizontal plane. It becomes horizontal trace. See, trace is something, if you extend a line, it's, it has to go and touch exactly uh, to the particular plane. It becomes horizontal trace. Can I make any line like this in this position? Can I make a, from this point you take a line? It's not forming, not, forming, not forming any line. It's only point at this edge. If I have a line, that means this edge is a line. If I extend this line, it should go and touch the particular plane. That particular plane is called its trace. In the sense, now see, in this position, top view is the line parallel to XY. This top view is the line parallel to XY and coincides with horizontal trace. If I bring this top view line, from this, if I pull, want to extend this line or project it down, it coincides with the horizontal plane. So that's what we call horizontal trace. It is. Okay? Now these two points. Now it goes for third condition: plane perpendicular to both HP and VP. How do I write? This is a body. Okay? If I lift like this, remember, you can see the inclination with respect to HP. If I turn like this, if I, I can see the inclination with respect to VP. So, this inclination you can draw it only on VP because inclination with respect to HP can be drawn on VP and inclination with respect to VP can be drawn on HP. Okay? Keep it in mind. And plane here, this condition is plane perpendicular to both HP and VP. How do I make it perpendicular to both HP and VP? Now, it is parallel to VP. Now, it is perpendicular, parallel to HP. I should make it perpendicular to both. How will I turn it? Is this okay? I should make this plane perpendicular to both HP and VP. Okay, it, it is in this condition, I suppose. And if you keep it like this, see, I can keep a body either like this. It's just a rectangle only, and if this is a rectangle, we should, you know, either condition that this plane is kept perpendicular to both the planes. This and that. So in this condition, front view is a line, okay, perpendicular to XY also. Because if I keep it perpendicular, the front view is also a line. I can make it like this, perpendicular to, oh, because perpendicular to x, y, then like this it is. Perpendicular to x, y, and coincides with vertical trace. It becomes a line. If you pull this line, touches on vertical plane, so it becomes vertical trace. Okay. And top view is again a line. Top view is also again a line, this line only. You think this means the plane is kept like this. Again, I mean this like this. This is perpendicular to both the planes. Got my point. Perpendicular to both the planes. Front view is also a line. This is the line. And it makes a trace with a vertical plane, so a vertical trace. And top view is also a line. If I extend it, it goes coincides with the horizontal trace. So this condition for plane is perpendicular to both HP and VP. Then plane perpendicular to VP and perpendicular to VP. Now it is perpendicular to VP, correct? Parallel to HP, parallel to VP, VP and inclined at theta degree to HP. What is the inclination? Inclined at theta degree from it is uh, perpendicular to VP, perpendicular to VP, inclined point A, suppose A and B, it is kept like inclined at theta degree to HP. This is the theta degree. I have already told inclination theta is referred to the inclination with respect to horizontal plane HP. Phi is the inclination with respect to VP. Now it is English with respect to HP theta degree. If this is a condition, if this is the condition kept, what would be, how does the front view look like? Front view is a line inclined at same theta degree to XY and coincides with vertical trace. Correct? If I hold it like this, now I am making like this. This inclination is theta degree. Is this an inclined line in the front view? In your side, you can see inclined line. And this line, if you just, what is this? is a line inclined at theta degree to XY and coincides with VT. And if you just extend it, it will go and touch the vertical trace. See? VT. And top view shows the record shape of the plane. 
top view only what you say top view you see this full in the front view it is line only top view you can see this full 1 2 3 4 points you are drawing a full shape or true shape of the body ok this is your condition number 4 number 5 it is opposite condition what is that plane perpendicular to HP and inclined at 5 degree, 5, 5 degree to VP how does it hold this inclination is for theta this is for phi this is the condition now I kept a plane it is inclined like this this is the angle I would see at this condition what is this word it is front view shows record shape of the plane this is the front view though it is inclined you can see this one point two point all this ok front view shows uh, plane perpendicular oh perpendicular to HP we have to hold it like, like this perpendicular to HP it is HP is like this you know that's why I am telling you should make a shape of like this and keep in front of a notebook and keep on imagining it's a mistake no it should be like this perpendicular to HP first condition then if it is inclined means I am telling it is inclined like this so this in top view you can see the inclination but the front view you can see 1.2.3.4 points you draw the true shape so that's what this is going to be your FV front view is a line inclined at, oh, sorry front view shows the reduced shape of the plane it shows the reduced shape it is a reduced because it is inclined it will have a small rectangle but top view is a line inclined at 5 degree to x y and coincides with ht what is this from top you can just see like this you can see this point this point you are drawing a line and that line if you pull it down it comes to horizontal trace this is horizontal if you just pull it down it comes horizontal trace that is it because the four sides you are drawing that lines can be brought down where which plane it touches it is called the trace it is very easy. Now, what is the next point here? Plane inclined to both HP and VP. How does it show? You can hold a plane in like this. Is. I can show it. Okay. See this plane perpendicular to HP and inclined at 5 degree to VP. Difference between this is previous one inclined perpendicular to VP and angle with respect to HP this point fifth point is plane perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP it is ok the symbol is we are using is phi how do I hold first make it perpendicular to HP it is where is HP HP is this I should hold like this agree if I make it like this become parallel to HP it should make it like this no perpendicular and uh, front view shows reduced shape of the plane that should be your imagination I mean to say once you read this you should hold a sheet or the shape and then you have to think then finally come to this review and satisfy whether it is correct or not I hold it like this it is inclined like this this inclination can be seen from the top view ok that phi angle what is written and from the front view what you can see 1.2.3.4 points you are drawing the true shape is this clear so it shows front view shows the reduced shape of the plane in the front view you have reduced shape of the plane and top view is a line inclined at 5 degree to x y and coincides with horizontal trace in the top view you see one line only it's a line it's a line but you have back side also all this planes are as it is this line if this line if you project it down it touches horizontal plane that becomes horizontal trace coincides with horizontal trace that is the condition ok now sixth point what is this plane inclined to both HP and VP how would I keep it I can hold it like this to make it inclined to both the plane that means for example I will hold it like this I should first inclined like this as well as inclined like this see these conditions to view it by naked eye it is very difficult we should only understand first we should go for inclination to HP then inclination to VP that combination is this condition you agree plane inclined to both HP and VP means we are making it inclined to HP as well as making it inclined to VP correct now it is like this first I make it inclination to HP how it is say like this inclination to HP VP then like this at this position what will be your front view what is this uh, front view shows reduced shape of the plane obviously front view also actually it is like this uh, correct shape inclined means for small shape no you can see the full shape but 
reduced shape it is this side and top view also if it is inclined like this i can see this point see this point this here actually it should be like this original position to speak it is like this that was the condition i see all these four points but shape is reduced here also i see 1 2 3 4 but shape is reduced so front view shows reduced shape of the plane and top view shows the reduced shape of the plane when you draw it it come exactly clear then uh, finally what i wrote here note uh, that is front view uh, the, the fv means front view pv means top view all these things so these six points are very very important to make a quick review that means when you read a question whatever these conditions if you see if you understand that front view has to be like this and top view like this very easily you can draw the sketch is it okay very just this you have to keep in mind always and this six points are very very important any diagram given in planes you can draw unit number 2 okay and it is a continuation of planes only solids say i have a rectangle here its back end also a rectangle it becomes a solid a rectangular prism so i can draw that we can see solids will be easy and the conditions holds good same 